we gave you the RG3 timeline of events over the past couple of weeks. Here's the latest. Team sources tell our Diana Rossini that Kirk Cousins has been named the week one starting quarterback this morning. Redskins coaches are ready to move on from Griffin, but ownership is pushing back. That according to our Adam Schefter and Rossini, another Super Bowl champion in the house, Jeff Saturday. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? Thank you for being well, we with us. We needed some help here to put this man back in his place. <laughs> I think he's going to be with me on, this, yeah, on these. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking. I could be wrong. But I'm okay, we shall see. Jeff, we'll come to you first. The saga continues. What should they do next with RG3? Yeah, as you look at it, we hear coaches, you know, they're ready to move on, teams ready to move on, ownership isn't. I think it's time to let him go and let him go find a new team. Seek, you know, seek a better place, a better fit for him, a better fit for this team. You know, what are you gaining in keeping him here? Anytime Cousin struggles or McCoy struggles, it, why aren't you playing RG3? You're always going to leave this battle in people's minds. So you know what he is as a player and, and we went back uh, the, the ESPN stats guy helped me with this and since since 2006 there has not been a quarterback who had a higher sack ratio than RG3 yeah. did last year 13.4 percent last year that means 13 percent of your passes you're getting sacked now we can put some on the offensive line but you also have to put the other on RG3 and when are you delivering the ball I mean compare that to Peyton Manning who's about a three percent or two point yeah. something percent right just getting rid of the ball he has zero mobility so as you're looking at what this team wants to do with Jay Gruden, with the West Coast, with this mentality of getting the ball out, if the system doesn't fit him, then move on and go somewhere else and allow him to go move on. Now, do I think there are going to be a lot of teams to trade for him? No. But if you release him, there are plenty of takers out there on the market for what RG3 can provide. Mm -hmm. He's thrown 40 touchdowns, 23 picks in his career. So he can obviously he can make plays yes. if he needs to. It's just this system, this coach, for whatever reason, this relationship is not working. And I said it a few weeks ago on NFL Live. That relationship is the most important because when you go in the locker room, if your head coach doesn't have your back, receivers won't have your back. The minute it's a bad ball, nobody, yeah, it, yeah quarterback didn't throw a great ball, right? Nobody's like fighting for that guy. Nobody's laying it on the line. Offensive line knows this guy may not be here, right? We're gonna, we may have we may have Cousins, we may have McCoy. So, so the, the turnstile quarterback thing does not work. You have to have a guy that you say, hey, listen, we're behind him. This is what we're going to do with it. He doesn't have to be your leader, but your coach, he has to be your starter and a pronounced starter. And with this thing wishy-washy, I think it's time to move on. What you want to get? Go you can go. I agree with you. The one thing that you know, Jeff, from being in locker rooms for a long period of time, the players know. Yep. They don't believe in RG3 anymore. And once you lose the players' trust, forget the coaches. If the coaches don't trust you, you want the coaches to trust you. But you need the players to trust you more. They don't believe in RG3. They keep hearing him saying all this, but they don't see the performance matching up with what, he, what he's saying. And the one thing we know about mobile quarterbacks, they run themselves into a lot of sacks. Mind you, Randall Cunningham once got, set, got sacked 70 times. Mm -hmm. Michael Vick was a high sack guy yeah, right. because they run themselves into some sacks. If you look at the play RG3 got hurt on, he had, it was a three-step drop. He had three guys open, right. and he didn't throw to any of them. He takes off running, he bobbles the ball, he lands on the ball, the guy lands on top of him. The one thing on the West Coast, one, two, three, ball's got to come out. You got to go. One, two, three, four, five, ball's got to come out. It's got to either come out or you got to go to number two. You can't sit back there and do this. Right. You can't. And right now, he has no confidence, <clears throat> and he knows they don't have confidence in him. And I think that's what's bothering him more because he's never faced adversity, really. He went to Baylor, he lit it up. The guy won the Heisman. He comes into the NFL, he wins rookie. He's the first rookie to win Offensive Player of the Week yeah. in opening day in mm -hmm. NFL history. Right, right. So everybody's talking about RG3 is going to revolutionize the quarterback position. Everybody's going to want an RG3. Only Millie and Vanilla had a faster rise and a faster fall. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, Skip. Yeah, but they were fake. The Robert wasn't fake, right? The, the, he Millie got and Vanilla, they were, they were, they were but phony. It, before, but here's the thing, though, Skip. Unless he realized, says, you know what? What made me successful? I got to get back to okay. that. It's over. Okay. He can't. He's not a straight pocket quarterback. Okay. He's never but you, been. But you that. think he's basically finished in the National Football League? No, I think I, he's finished as being RG three. Now he can be Robert Griffin. 
he can be a, 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 a solid guy, but he'll never, ever be 2012. That's that's gone. Okay. I, I disagree. Quick, quick thought. Oh, you think he can be that again? Yes, I do. do. Do you think he's finished in the National Football no, League? No, I do not. I, I think there are plenty of takers, and I, th I think he can, he can be. But even if somebody a takes him. quarterback? Yeah. Yeah. Do, yeah, you, yeah. Think you'll be, do you think he'll be 2012 ever again? No, I, I, yeah, I think he's, he's going to have to learn to develop his position and understand whatever system he goes to. It's going to be very difficult to go to an NFL team and completely retool your offense mm -hmm. for a particular player that may get injured and then the guy behind them can't run the system so you, you at some point there has to be some molding or meshing of mm -hmm. systems here yeah, so compromise. yeah so yeah. as he comes in I do think he can be a very capable starter so in the NFL I. as he works through it but again that means diagnosing that means improving your accuracy that means trusting in your offensive line and delivering the ball and it doesn't have to be a big play I think what happens to young quarterbacks with early success is they think about the big play every time in yeah. the NFL six yards is a great play yeah be happy with it right now we're ahead of the chains mm -hmm. now we can make first downs everybody talks about touchdowns but there's a ton of management in this game mm -hmm. that is required from the quarterback position okay and slide this is my men slide thank you very much he still hasn't learned to do that which per it just yeah. perplexes me because he's so athletic but he can't slide anyway bottom line for me I am hoping the Washington Redskins are foolish enough to cut Robert Griffin III. He will go somewhere else and start over, and I told you earlier in the show, he's going to have to swallow all of his considerable pride right. and start from scratch elsewhere and re-win another job another way for somebody who does believe in him because they wanted him to come there. And he will come back and haunt this franchise, the Washington franchise. If Jay Gruden is still the head coach at that point, he will haunt Jay Gruden because this is coming down to is Dan Snyder ultimately going to bet on this head coach or this quarterback? Right. I, it's it's because Jay Gruden does not want RG3. That no. was clear last year. Absolutely. He doesn't want him there. That's right. And to me, it's an outrage because what, again, I love John, so this isn't a John thing. Mm -hmm. John's this guy, Jay's that guy. I'm talking about Jay Gruden. What has he proven? Has he proven nearly as much as a head coach as Robert proved in 2012 as an NFL no, starting quarterback? He hasn't proven, proven a thing. But he's taken an uh, inferior quarterback as far as talent. And Andy Dalton, okay, they go to three straight playoffs. As the coordinator, Yes, right? but Skip, okay. Skip, RG3 can't even run his offense. <sighs> There's something that didn't click here from the start. I don't know why I'm not there, but after all the hoopla about Dan Snyder has handpicked Jay Gruden to help take RG3 back to the 2012 level, from the start, it was clear, just watching Jay in his, his media sessions, he didn't like this guy. Right. He didn't like the way he operated off the field, and he yeah. definitely didn't like the way he operated let, on the and, field. And let me say this, probably the best thing that could happen to him is he goes and retools his game and, get, and grows yep. in confidence yeah. with a new team so I, I fully agree but let's not miss the point 99 percent of nfl players need a system that fits them yes okay very few hall of famers are guys who could play in a number of systems right zone system power system split out stay in but there, there aren't many of those guys i wasn't one of those guys. I, I needed to run i needed to be athletic you i didn't want to play in a phone booth right nick mangle he wants to play in a phone booth he wants to block back okay so guys it. are system it. guys Guys. Yes. Yeah. It's okay to be a system mm -hmm. guy. There, there's only a handful of, of guys who bust the system up. So for him, go learn the system. Go train yourself to be the quarterback that you know you can be. You are an intelligent guy. You are athletic. Mm -hmm. And you have an arm. You got three things. And, and there aren't many good quarterbacks in the NFL. I mean, mm -hmm. I get you have to have 32 that start. That's why they right. keep recycling. That's exactly right. Everybody keeps going and finding homes somehow. So he will find a home. But go work on your game and understand the system is what ultimately will allow you to be your best player and you got to find that system you got to find the fit you got to work on it train it drill it work train drill just keep going through the process and you will become the guy you want to be freelancing it, it, you know whatever you think you could do athletically you and I both know that goes away when you play NFL because the difference between NFL and college is defense knows how to play it and guys like T Suggs mm -hmm. will, will dress you down you get outside yes, they, they are going they ain't stopping and they can okay. pay the fine okay they, they got the cash to throw that in there too you said he has to swallow his, his pride the first thing that has to go is the RG I I I mm -hmm. the RG3 needs to go he need, he needs to he he worried so much about the brand the brand RG3 mm -hmm. that was his brand 
they forget about football. Right. Mm -hmm. The brand that's will a, only succeed true. if the football player okay. is great. That, that is that is a okay. great point. But but for, had, for our game in general, he had earned the right to have a brand at that point. No, he no, had he had, had, no, he had, no, yes, he had yes, one he one year in college. Okay, no, no, no. I'm talking about after. Listen, no, no, no. Like you do not. Division. It's one okay. You do not. Listen, no, you did not. In this day and age, you can start having a brand after you win Rookie of the Year nah. and win the division. And there lies okay. the problem. That's okay. right. No, Andrew, the Andrew, problem. Andrew, Andrew Luck ain't got no brand. Okay, yeah. uh, but he, he didn't want a brand. Tom Brady didn't have a brand after okay. year one. Okay, Peyton Manning barely had a brand after year one. Come on, those guys. Brand was not the issue to me. The issue was after he wrecked his knee in the second half of the Seattle playoff yes. game. He and his father went to the Redskins, I was told by a high-ranking Washington source, and said, we want to be Peyton Manning. And as soon as I heard that, I said, you're not. No, You're no just word. not Peyton Manning, and you'll never sniff Peyton Manning. And I heard you from a source it. the very okay. same okay. thing. Thank you. Okay, so Robert has, as we all know, world-class speed. I'm talking about world-class. Had. Okay. okay, I think he can get that back, but he's got to get his confidence back first. But my point is, under Shanahan, they mixed in just enough of the run stuff, a little bit of read option, yes. a little bit of rollout, a little bit of quarterback draw, sure. just enough to keep the defense like this all all day you know like I don't know I don't know what he's gonna do because when he takes off as he did when he was a rookie and I think he can get it back 15 yards are gone like that but what he couldn't learn to do was the rule it's, it's rigged in your favor all you have to do is Slide. when they get there you just go down but the problem with that okay. is as you progress with the football the ability to do that shrinks as you get closer in the red zone mm -hmm. and keep moving it down the defense gets tighter it's why red zone throws are so important right they have to be on the dime they got to be thrown on time they got because when okay. you start running down there again, okay, safeties are tight, corners. Are, everybody okay. can catch you now. It's not world class or not. There's I, eleven I, of them. I got who, that. Okay, so that, I that's saw the. I, I definitely saw the arm at Baylor, but that rookie year, he was special. Now Damn, twenty that's touchdowns, over. Yeah. five interceptions. Skip, you know, four years okay. ago I was forty three. Okay, <laughs> right. I'm forty seven now. I was you still playing. But, but I know what you did <laughs> when you were forty three. But I, I know you, you were legit. You were in the Hall of Fame at forty three, and you. Long. It's skip. It's okay. Skip. Think about this. Tom Brady blew out his knee in the pocket. What if Tom Brady goes to Bill Belichick and says, you know what? I got my knee hurt in the pocket. I don't want to be a pocket pass anymore. Right. I want to do semi-rolls. RG3 got hurt running. It was a freak accident because he was sliding, and in the process of sliding, he accidentally leg whipped Haloti Nada. He did, but, he, but you got to get down way before that. Okay, but I'm saying it was a freak accident, Ski. I mean, uh, Skip, and he wanted to completely Ski, revamp yeah. everything that he had accomplished. Can't do it. Okay, but my point is, you got to swallow all your pride and get back to somebody who says, How? hey. How? Okay, he, he had yet to do okay, it. Okay, but I'm hanging in with this kid because he did it at the NFL. If we're talking about college I, football, I I'd with be that. with you guys. I, I do agree with that, but I don't think it's going to come in that form of 2000. I think it's learning a system and learning when to deliver the ball, when is it, when is my hot okay. read there, when do I got, and it's not tuck it and run anymore. It's I'm going to deliver okay. the ball when it, I'm going to keep this offense in phase. I'm going to learn to develop my game. I'm going to learn to develop. And it is, he is, listen, he is a bright kid. He is an athletic kid and he can throw the ball. And he's Again, a good kid. And he's a good kid. He is a good, absolutely. Stuff, Off the field, it's all, yeah. it, he, he, all is, positive. he is, it's all positive. He can learn to do it. The problem is when you lead, you know, dangle the carrot of we're going to read, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and it's not your offense. If it's not your offense, coaches don't know it as well. Yeah. Players can, they're kind of, eh, can I work it? Can I not work it? The reason Chip Kelly's offense, because he knows his system. Whatever player goes in there, he, he tries knows the system. Players to That's right, to his fit his system. system. He is the star of his system. Yeah, he, yeah, but yeah. he knows the system. He knows right. where the weaknesses in the mm -hmm. system are. He knows what blitzes will match up against what sure. he does well. You, if, if you don't know the system and you're trying to just put okay. a player in, the pieces don't match. You, you have to develop this kid. And I'm telling you, I think the best thing, if he goes somewhere else, get involved in the system, I agree. He has the ability to be a good starting quarterback mm -hmm. in the NFL. Will he be Pro Bowl? Will he be all those things? I have no idea. But but he has the ability to be a starter in the NFL. Got to okay. win 
another locker room. Got to. That's true, too. You got to win another that, locker that room. That is true. Because he lost you, this one. You, you win it on the football field. A absolutely. Okay. All right. You know what else I hope for? You guys alluded to earlier him having so many voices in his ear. I hope he gets the right voices. Maybe some mm. right mentors that can uh, direct him as well moving forward. <laughs> Jeff, you're staying put for this one. All right. All right, good. Tommy B is back in front of the judge. Do we believe in him? We'll discuss that coming up.